Hello, and thank you for your willingness to serve at the altar at Immaculate Conception Church. Wear dark shoes and socks if you have them. Choose a cassock that is the correct length, as shown. The surplus should reach at least to your waist, if one of that size is available. We always move in a fluid manner, never jerky or quick. We hold our hands in prayer form at all times unless sitting or carrying something. When we are carrying an item with only one hand, the other is laid flat across our chest. Servers always sit down at the same time, initiated by the master of ceremonies, lead server, or oldest server. When we are sitting, our feet should be flat on the floor and our hands flat on our lap. There are two types of bows and one altered bow we use. The simple bow, the profound bow, and the nod. There are times when a server genuflects as well. In short, any time a server crosses in front of the tabernacle and is not part of a procession and is not carrying something, they are required to genuflect. This is also true any time one enters or exits the sanctuary outside of Mass when they will not be crossing in front of the tabernacle. Ten minutes before Mass, the candles are lit. The three standard serving roles are the cross-bearer, known as the crucifer, and the two candle-bearers. Father will signal the choir to begin the entrance song. Upon reaching the steps, the crucifer pauses just long enough to nod before entering the sanctuary. The candle-bearers do the same and follow the crucifer. One candle-bearer becomes the book-bearer and will stand at the seat nearest the priest. The propers are the prayers which are different for each Mass. There are three ways of holding the book. Whichever method is used, be sure not to block the priest from the view of the parishioners. The three ways are 1. At the chest 2. Cradled in a partially extended arm and 3. With arm fully extended. The third method is the most desirable and should always be used if the server is able. After the second reading, the priest and deacon, if there is one, will stand. When the priest or deacon moves to the altar, that is the time to prepare for the gospel procession. The procession begins when the ordained minister turns to his left. The candle bearers descend the steps together and remain side by side all the way to the ambo. After the gospel, move immediately as a unit up into the sanctuary between the high and low altars. Stop at the center and facing the tabernacle nod. Then, put your candles away and go to sit down for the homily. Now we will begin with the offertory, which immediately follows the prayers of the faithful. The first two things that occur are, 1. Receiving the gospel book stand from the priest or deacon at the altar, and 2. Extinguishing the candles at the ambo. Remember to go down the steps, over to center, genuflect to the tabernacle, and then proceed to the ambo to blow out the candles. Reverse the process on the way back. The chalice is always brought up to the altar first, when the gifts are about to be brought up. Only three servers need to go down with the priest or deacon, the lavabo. The bowl is in the center and the water and the towel are on either side of it. When the priest offers a chalice of wine and then says a short prayer as he bows to the altar, it is time to get into position. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. At this point, all three servers go down the steps to stand at the floor level in front of the altar. The bells. The bells are rung at three separate moments. Once after the holy or sanctus, three times at the elevation of the body of Christ three times at the elevation of the blood of Christ in the chalice. The Sign of Peace At the Sign of Peace, the ordained ministers will bow to us. We bow first to them, then to each other. We do not turn to the congregation. Communion When the priest has received communion from the chalice, the servers go up to receive. Ablutions When the priest returns to the sanctuary, the servers rise and prepare to receive items from the altar. The priest or deacon will gather the hosts together into one ciborium and go up to deposit them in the tabernacle. At that time, all servers and ministers of all types turn toward the tabernacle and give a profound bow as the priest or deacon genuflects. One by one, the items on the altar will be removed and handed off to the servers. When everything is cleared off the altar, all sit. Blessing and Recessional The priest gives the final blessing. Then the St. Michael the Archangel prayer is recited. When the priest and any other ordained minister go to the altar to reverence it, the servers get their implements and walk down the steps and stand in formation in the aisle facing the altar. The procession out is solemn and reverent but shouldn't drag. At the end of the procession, the crucifer turns centered, then they bow to the cross with the priest. The crucifer now returns to the sacristy to put the cross in the stand and immediately extinguish all candles in the sanctuary. 
Both candle bearers place the candles in the stands at the back, extinguish them, and proceed to the vestibule to hand out bulletins. After all these duties are complete, return to the sacristy. After making certain all jobs are complete, change out of your cassock and surplus and hang them up neatly. Thank you for your service at the altar.